So we get the next level because y is equal to this, so I can set up the loop in for y. This might be the last step before we have to fix the problem. Minus mu k mg cosine beta minus mg sine beta equals ma and ft minus mg equals ma. Yeah, we pretty much need to fix it. Bless you. Bless you. You're going to differentiate the masses. Yes. Oh. These are not the same masses here. Oh. This is mass of the book. <laughs> this is mass of the cup. So this is mass of the book. Mass of the book. Mass of the book. Mass of the cup. Cup. Book. Book. Don't forget, we're solving for acceleration. Acceleration is two different objects. Except it's the same acceleration. Yeah. Because the two, oh, yeah. two objects attached yeah, yeah, by the ideal right. rope as one, if they will move, you know, position for position. Yeah. Or distance for distance. All right, so. Generally in a problem, uh, see, did I, give I didn't give masses here. So let's say mass of the book is, uh, we'll make it 10 kilograms. The mass of the cup, or five kilograms. Uh, I think we gave everything else. So we have that, we have that, that, that. Uh, let's assume let g be 9.8 meters per second squared. Uh, that, 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 that. So we don't have A. We don't want an A or T. What the tension? <coughs> that. But we just need to solve for A so we can get rid of the tension. I could solve for tension to this equation and plug into here, or I could just add the two equations together. By choosing our coordinate system so that they have the same direction of acceleration, my tensions are opposite signs. So when I add them, they will just into a mist of mathematics. So I'm left with negative terms. Mu k mass of book g cosine theta minus, I did not give myself enough room here. So negative mu k m d g cosine theta minus m d g sine theta minus mcg equals mda plus mca. And so we now have an equation for acceleration. Uh, negative mu k mdg cosine theta minus mdg sine theta minus mcg divided by md plus mc. And so now it's a plug and chug. So negative 0.3 times 10 times 9.8 times the cosine of 50 degrees minus 10 times 9.8 times the sine of 50 degrees minus 5 times 9.8 divided by 5 plus 10. Uh, so you're working it out, if you give me the different parts, give me the, the three things on top, then I'll do the denominator. Wow, all right, thanks. Hey, I did a quarter of the problem right there. Yeah. Uh, cool. Negative 18.90. The first one? Yeah. 18.90? Yes. Okay. So the last one is minus 49.
Yeah, yeah that's a D plus MC. Seconds. All right. Let's kill. So then it's going to get up. Uh, questions on this before we, we deal with the second part of the problem of will it slide back down? So we, Oh, how far does it go? We now have acceleration. We have initial velocity. Okay. And I'm asking to figure out the displacement. So we well, you know final velocity, because it's going to stop. So if I plug into Vf squared equals Vi squared plus 2a dot delta x, we end up with 0 is equal to 100 plus 2 times negative 9.53 delta x. We do end up with a positive value for the displacement here, which makes sense because it is moving up the ramp and we said that was the positive direction. Uh, 5.25 meters. Okay. And then it stops. Does it What changes? What is going to change in the problem to figure out if it's going to slide back down? Our friction moves from kinetic to static. Okay, and the direction. Yeah. Forgot about that. While it was moving up the ramp, the kinetic friction was down the ramp. When it stops, it now wants to slide down the ramp. Friction opposes that. So now the static friction here <sighs> is acting up the ramp. So when I come to my equations over here, I will use the magic of the fact that I'm doing this on a board with markers, plus, 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 which makes this, uh, so that becomes positive, this three becomes 0.4, that number there changes. Around 24. 25.1, 25.2. 25.2. And we can actually figure out the acceleration. Or actually not. But what do we get? Maybe 6.591. Maybe 6.591. So it's not. So is it going to move down the ramp? No. Yeah, yeah. Negative is that way. This says our acceleration is negative, which means down the ramp, which is what we'd expect if it moves. Definitely. Yeah. So what is the acceleration down the ramp? Negative. What was it? 6.95. No. It's not the acceleration down the ramp. Why is this not the acceleration down the ramp? Acceleration is great. That's it. The friction. Miguel, you were starting to say something, and someone said friction. Is it the, uh, the acceleration? Right. One of you. Go. Steven or Miguel? I think he pointed to you, Steven. Uh, what were you saying? I don't know. <laughs> All right, then Miguel. Is it the acceleration of the cup, not the cork? The, accel the acceleration of the cup, not the cork. No, the acceleration would go together. What was assumed when we got this value right here? Initial velocity of 10 meters per second. No, this is when it stops. Yeah. This is at the point where it stops. Zero. 
forward. So if acceleration was zero, that means that it's not moving at all. Yeah. Yeah. We assume that it was static friction. Yes. Yeah. All this work went through, assuming static friction. And once we establish that it will move, we'd have to go back in, change that to 0.3 again. This becomes 18 point whatever it was. It's still 18 point, well, yeah, 18.9. 18.9. Uh, so the amount of friction drops from the maximum static. It's that, you know, we just dropped. And so it's going to accelerate slightly faster than that. Seven point oh one. All right. So when you start bringing in the movement or not movement, it, it, there's uh, a lot of redundancy. Uh, this is one of the reasons why it's recommended that you try to do it in letters as far as possible instead of plugging in numbers early. You can plug in numbers early, but if we plugged in numbers way too early, we basically will be solving doing all this over again. You are in some luck is that as a student, I despise these problems. You should be able to do them, but I hated the problems where I had to do it more than once. Uh, that doesn't mean I haven't given problems like that, but I'm always hesitant before I do something like that. And on that cheery note, it's time for a Have a lovely day. The same to you. Okay. Yeah. 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 What?